Okay, so this this is a message. This video is going to be a message for the Hebrew Roots Movement, Hebrew Israelite people. Um, this is basically about the why names uh, and also the pride and self-righteousness and religious spirits that many of the Hebrew Israelites and Hebrew Roots Movement people carry. Um, I can attest, uh, I have testimonies of people who was involved in this um, movement who have, you know, for example, my brother in Christ, Jonathan, big up my, my brother in Christ, Jonathan was actually involved in the Hebrew Roots Movement. He was uh, humbled. He's shared me testimonies of what the people were like who he was involved with in the Hebrew Roots Movement and the Hebrew Israelites that he was involved with. I have my own testimony of how some of the Hebrew Israelites have been with me. Um, and then also I have another testimony. My brother, Ralph Gray, has a testimony. He was involved in the studying and the using of the Y names. And um, he he said that it's not, you know, he's went through a phase of using the Y names and it was a big thing with him. And he's now come away from it and just believes that it's just, it's not that much of a, of a big thing that the, much of the Hebrew roots movement and the Hebrew Israelites make out. So, so this video is about that, and it's also about the Y name. So, so if you look through my videos, you will see that I have um, used in much of my videos the name Christ Yahusha and Yahusha Hamashiach, um, which is Yahusha, Ye which is uh, Jesus, the you know basically in Hebrew Jesus the Messiah. Um, and uh, in and then obviously Yahuwah as well for the Father. I read the Sefer Bible as well, which is a great edition of the Bible that has the restored um, names, and it also has the rest many of the books that were originally doctored and taken out of the Bible restored. I recommend studying that version of the Bible. It's a great version of the Bible. I've done a video on the Sefer Bible. Just check Sefer Review in my in the video. I'll leave a link for that below. You can see that version of the Bible. I read that Bible. Great version. So I'm not knocking people who use the Y names. Um, but what I am saying is if you're involved in the Hebrew Roots movement or the Hebrew Israelites movement, sadly, many of the people in this, in this movement are operating under the spirit of self-righteousness spirit of, of, of pride and religious spirits and I can concur this with my own experiences my own experiences then I can match them with my other brothers in Christ I've been fellowshipping's experiences and then I can also look at when I've watched videos online for example of David Lynn and other uh, pastors and and preachers who use the JC name having Hebrew Israelites come up to them and have these de stupid debates um, about just stupid stuff that isn't important. I want to get into, into some scripture now to set the tone of what I'm basically trying to say. So 1 John 5, 16 to 17, this is from the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. If anyone sees his brother, a believer, committing a sin that does not lead to death, the extinguishing of life, he will pray and God will give him life. Yes, he will grant life to all those whose sin is not one leading to death. There is sin that leads to death. I do not say that one should pray for that. All wrongdoing is sin and there is sin which does not involve death that may be repented of and forgiven. So this is basically saying in 1 John 5, 16 to 17, if you see someone committing a sin that does not lead to death, just pray to God, you know. Like, it's basically saying that it's not important, you know. If it's not if it's not leading you to death, and, and the JC name is not leading people to death, there's grace there for that. I have had so much deliverance from online ministries, Fernando Perez's ministry, Brother Carlos's ministry, Noah Hines's ministry, Hugo, I can't remember his name, Hugo, 
there's a guy called Hugo something. You probably know if you've done deliverance. There's so many great deliverance ministers online that I've had deliverance from who use the JC name. And then you've got renowned men of God, such as, you know, Derek Prince. Are we trying to now say that because they use the JC name, these people are cursed and they're not going to make it into heaven? Because I'm pretty damn sure that that's a, I think that's a quite an outlandish, ridiculous claim to make. That everyone who uses the JC name, Jesus Christ, everyone who says Jesus Christ is going to hell because they use Jesus Christ instead of Yahushua HaMashiach. Where does this come from? I don't get how this is like, why this is made out to be such a big thing. I agree that there is uh, idolatry in the Roman Catholic Church and behind the name um, Jesus Christ, people are praying Jesus Christ to an idol and the idol, you know, there's this, the speak of that they they took Caesar Bogar's head and put it on an idol and but if people pray to Jesus Christ, they say Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Most High God who died for the sins of the world, the only begotten Son on the cross. That's what you're calling on. Intention is important. Intention is a, is a big part of your prayer. If you say Jesus Christ, if you, if you paint a doll and start talking to a doll and calling that Jesus, that's idolatry. So then that makes sense. That's that that's that's wrong, but I just these people just get so caught up on this, it's not even an issue. So Proverbs six, sixteen to nineteen, these are the six things the Lord hates. Indeed, seven are an abomination to him. This is amplified Bible classical edition. A proud look, the spirit that makes one overestimate himself and underestimate others. Is this not a proud look to think that I have the J name, I have the Y name, I am better because I know the Y name. You don't know the Y name. I know the Y name. You're wrong. Are you not, is that not a form of self-exaltation? To then start an argument over people because they use the, they use the JC name instead of the Y name. If you're arguing and falling out with people because of that, that's pride. You're not praying for that person. You're basically saying that you're better than them because you use the Y name. So you've got a lying tongue and a hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that, that manufactures wicked thoughts and plans and feet that are swift into running to evil and a false witness who breathes out, out lies even under oath and he who sows discord among his brethren. So... I've had people from the Hebrew Israelites movement or Hebrew Roots movement come on my videos and see my videos. And just because I have in my videos said the JC Jesus Christ name in some of the recent videos, put me in this box, this category and basically make me out to be this person, which is not based on any. Look, these videos that I make. Every single video I make, I make with the intention of answering common questions and problems that people ask so that I can then send this video to somebody with the intention of helping them. My intention of making a video is for one reason and one reason only, to help other people in some way, shape or form with a problem that they have, to solve a problem, to give the guidance to help another person. That's my intention. I have no other intention. I don't care about the likes. I don't care about the subscribers. I don't want to be seen as this guy who knows everything. Because I don't. I am I am majorly, majorly, majorly flawed as a person. I know that I need Christ. I know that I've messed up in my life and made some dumb decisions. So I ain't running around with my... With my uh, why name bling and shoving it in other people's faces here's my why name bling yahushua hamashiach bling i i i follow yahushua hamashiach here's my bling to show that i'm better than other people because i've got the bling and you don't have that bling this is just a worldly way of behaving this is a, a 
a form of self-exaltation, a form of pride, a form of, you know, self-righteousness. And people in the Hebrew Roots movement, many of them have the fruits of self-righteousness, pride, religious spirits. You having the fruits in the Hebrew Roots movement and the Hebrew Israelites movement, many of you people have the fruits, the same fruits and characteristics of the Pharisees. And then you call yourself Hebrews. Why would you even want to be called Hebrews? Why would you even want to be like, listen, no offense to, to Jewish people per, per se, but the Jews in the Bible, I know Jesus Christ was a Jew, but the Jews in the Bible were the people who didn't believe in the Messiah. And Jewish people are still the people who don't believe in the Messiah. They read the Old Testament. They don't believe in the Messiah. They went and got the Messiah, Christ, JC, Yahushua HaMashiach. They went and got him put on the cross. They played the vital part in him getting put on the cross. So if these people, the Hebrews, the Pharisees, and the Romans, the Pharisees and the Romans were the, were the people who, who were responsible for getting Jesus Christ put on the cross. Why would you want to call yourself a Hebrew and have the same characteristics of a Pharisee person? Self-righteous, religious, prideful, self-importance. No one cares about what you know. It doesn't matter about what you know. I've already done a video on this. Humans, human, um, hum, the, high, the hierarchy of humans is moronic and demonic. If you think because you use Y names, you're better than other people, you've got more, you've got the key, you're the better person, you know more, you're, you're, you've let whatever spirit operate through you, you're not operating in love, you're operating in legalism. Many of the Hebrew roots movement are operating in legalism. My brother in Christ, Jonathan, confirmed this. I used to go to a Hebrew Roots Movement church. They used to it, they used to be telling me this, that and the other. It was always about telling me this. Listen, these debates are pointless all the time. And the, the body of Christ wants to debate whether Jesus had blue eyes, green eyes. Was he Arabic? In, was he Arabic? Was he white? Did he look like this? Did he look like that? You're wrong. I'm right. Like, this is pointless. None of this produces any fruit. We should just be praying for people. If you use the Y name and I use the JC name, cool, whatever. Let's get on with it. I'm not, as long as I'm not bowing down to idols, like actually standing in front of a statue and praying and doing tarot card readings and Satanism and Luciferianism and calling on Lucifer and all these things, then I'm not your enemy, am I? It's just pointless debate. It makes no sense. Why debate? Why fall out of people over that? So Matthew 7, 1 to 5. This is from the Amplified Bible version. Do not judge and criticize and condemn condemn others. Un Sorry, let me start again. Do not judge and criticize and condemn. In brackets. Others unfairly with an attitude of self-righteous superiority. As though assuming the office of a judge. And then it goes, so that you will not be judged, brackets, unfairly. For just as you hypocritically judge others when you are sinful and unrepentant, so will you be judged. And in accordance with your standard of measure, used to pass out judgment, Judgment will be measured to you. Why do you look at the insignificant speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice and acknowledge the egregious log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me get the speck out of your eye? When there is a log in your own eye, you hypocrite, playing actor and pretender, first get the log out of your own eye and then you 
will see clearly to take the speck out of your own or out of your brother's eye. Matthew 7, 7, 1 to 5 Amplified Bible. So what we what we are saying is this is having the Y names fine. It's nice to learn that Jesus' name in Hebrew, because obviously Hebrew and Aramaic are the first the first languages spoke. It's nice to know that Yahushua Hamashiach is the, the original Hebrew name. It's nice to know that Yahuwah is the original name for the Father. But I don't think it is that much of an important thing to debate other people about and fall out with other people about and and judge other people about and put people in boxes about. If someone's doing tarot card readings and, and, and astral projection and and smoking weed and drinking and fornicating then you can put that person in a box and lying and cheating and stealing okay that's a sinner a wicked person especially if they're unrepentant you know you can say things to people but it has to come from a point of what's the intention of you saying it if you're telling people, oh, by the way, his name's this, is it to is it to show off? Are you showing off your Y bling? Are you showing off your Yahusha Hamashiesh bling? Oh, I know that this name. Do you know what this is? The same thing. I'll give you an example of what this is similar to. This is this is like if I went into Spain, I went into a grocery store in Spain. I walked into there. I walk up to the store clerk, Spanish uh, store clerk in Spain. She only knows Spanish. Let's say I know the sentence. I actually don't know any Spanish. A typical English person doesn't know much other lang other languages than English. So I walk into to, to the to the woman and I say in Spanish, "Do you do you have or do you sell?" And then I say the word oranges. So I say the first sentence in Spanish, "Do you sell?" in Spanish. And then I say oranges, the English word for an orange. In Spain, it's naranja. Does that make me clever? Because I've said it in 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 English. The, the woman's going to look at me like the Spanish woman's going to look at orange. What the hell is that? But it's the same thing. A naranja and an orange, they're the same thing. They mean the same thing in a different language. So when you say Jesus Christ, you're re re referring to the Messiah. They're, when you say Jesus Christ, you were referring to the man who was hung on the cross and bled and died a horrific, died horrifically for the sins of the world. You're not referring to the, and the people say, oh, but you're referring to Caesar Bagar and you're referring to the this idol and you're referring to a pagan. Yeah, in Catholic churches... When there's a big massive statue, idolatry, which is a sin anyway. If you're bowing down to, to a statue, you are. But when you're calling on Jesus Christ, you're calling on the Messiah. And if you are that worried about it, then just say this simple prayer. Just say, Heavenly Father, whenever I say the name Jesus Christ, get call angels to be witnesses. Angels, be witnesses to this right now. Heavenly Father, whenever I say the name Jesus Christ, I am referring to the only begotten Son of the Most High God who died for the sins of the world, who died a horrific death on the cross for the sins of the world. That's who I'm referring to. His Holy Spirit resides within me. Done. Then you don't have to get caught up in this whole, this whole name debate. So Galatians 5:22 to 23 amplified bible classical edition but the fruit of the holy spirit which is the work which his the sorry the work which his presence within accomplishes is love joy in brackets gladness peace patience brackets and even temper forbearance kindness goodness brackets benevolence faithfulness gentleness bra brackets meekness humility self-control brackets self-restraint and continence against such things there is no law 
that can bring a charge. So I'll say that again. Galatians 5.22 to 23, Amplified Bible Classical Edition. I'm just going to read it without the brackets this time. But the fruit of the Spirit uh, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. So many of the Hebrew roots movement, Hebrew Israelites, the fruit of the Spirit is, is love. Are they showing you love when they correct you about the name? Is it in a loving way? Often not. It's more in a, it's usually in a prideful way. Are they joyful? Probably not. A lot of them are quite quite um, a lot of them are quite bitter and and uh, they probably need a lot of deliverance. Um, are they are they at peace? No, they tend to want to start stupid debates about stupid stuff. Do they have patience? Not really. Um, Kindness, yes, there is some kindness. Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, uh, self-control. And then self-control springs to mind because they want to argue over things like the name, the, na the names. It's not even an important, important matter. So if you are Hebrew Roots Movement, Hebrew Israelite, you're using these different names, fine. Use the different names. Follow the Messiah in the way that you wish, the Mashiach, Mashiach in the way that you you wish. I study Sefer Bible. I understand the names of the Most High in Hebrew, the names of the Most High, and the 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 names of of Christ in Hebrew. But to make to self exalt yourself up and wear the bling that you know the name like that and go in and do basically what I said about the, you know, walking into the to the to to like a grocery store and then saying to this to woman in Spanish, do you have an orange? And then being like, I said it in that, you know, and you don't know what I'm saying. You're just an idiot. If that's what you are and you're making, and you're having arguments with people over that and stupid debates that don't produce any fruit. And like, what are you trying to say that Derek Prince and all these other great men of God, because they use the JC name are cursed and they're going to hell. I've had so much deliverance with from deliverance ministries with the JC name. It's just a pointless debate. It it produces no fruit to argue with people over it. It's, if you if you're calling if you're calling God by if you're calling G, if you're calling Jesus Christ Lucifer and comparing him to Lucifer, then that that makes more sense. That makes way more sense. So Titus 3.9. But avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, arguments and quarrels about the law. Because these things are pointless and worthless. Reject a divisive man after a first and second admonition. Knowing that such a man is corrupt and sinful. He is self-condemned. This is probably one of my favourite scriptures. Because Titus 3.10 or Titus 3.9 we read from. Because this basically shows you that, that if people are coming to you to start stupid debates that don't produce any fruit, it's not helping you. It's not helping me. You just want me to feed your fragile, messed up ego. Then you are self-condemned. And sadly, many of the Hebrew Roots movement and the Hebrew Israelites are operating from that. They are operating from religious spirits. They're operating from self-righteous spirits. And they're operating from pride spirits. The same spirits that were operating in the Pharisees who profess to be so holy and know so much and be so important. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. Or Yahushua HaMashiach is the way, the truth and the life. That's a, that's a multiple... Multi that means more than one thing. It doesn't just mean that... He was the only. He's the only way to heaven. 
you know, ha only having a relationship with him is the only way to heaven. It doesn't just mean that. It means that following him, meaning if you actually make yourself more like Christ, the more you can make yourself humanly like Christ was, the closer you are to getting into heaven the more you are going to have the chance of making it into heaven. Many of the Hebrew Roots movement and the Hebrew Israelites, they're not acting like Christ. They're acting like the Pharisees. Why do you want to have the characteristics of the Pharisees? Where did the Pharisees end up? I guarantee you that probably most of the Pharisees ended up in hell. Where, what is that other verse? Anyone who rejects you, reject anyone who, who rejects. Matthew 10, 40. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Are you being welcoming of other people? Or are you making... Are you having stupid, stupid arguments and debates with them about what version of Bible they read and what, what why name they use? Because this is not love. That's legalism. That's pride. That's self-exaltation. And if you do believe that they, they've got the wrong version of the Bible and the wrong name, pray for them. Don't have an argument with them endlessly. <coughs> and put them into some stupid category where you treat them a certain way because, because they're not using the same name as you. Anyway, this video has gone on overkill. I hope that I've spoke to some Hebrew Israelites or Hebrew Roots Movement people to let you know that pulling people up on the name of Christ and making it such a thing that if they don't use the set the right name is that much of an issue I, I really seriously don't think if and you know the, the thing the thing the way I look at it is I think it's an issue when you're when there's there is actual idols involved if you're praying to an image of Christ or an idol of Christ you know like in the Roman Catholic Church for example then that makes sense that is pagan because obviously there's an idol involved but just using the name Jesus Christ, which is the English name for Yahushua HaMashiach, is not that much of a problem. If it was, all of these videos that I've got, like all the ministries like Derek Prince, Fernando Perez, Brother Carlos, all the places I've got so much deliverance from. People wouldn't be sharing their testimonies. And Jesus, like, he, like they'd be getting rebuked. God would be saying, pull down your ministry videos. I don't want you doing that because you're using the J name. Why is he delivering people with the J name then, if it's not the right name? Why do, why do people get manifestations with the J name if it's not the right name? It's a stupid debate. And the other thing. Before I go, the Hebrew Roots Movement and the Hebrew Israelites, many of them have had, like, no deliverance. How much deliverance have these people had? I've gone through months and months and months and months and months of deliverance. And we're not even... The other thing is, we're not saved uh, through, through works. We're saved by grace. So no man can boast. Is this not a boastful thing to then say that you know the name of the Messiah is Yahushua HaMashiach and because you judge other people and put them into categories because they don't use the Y name? Yeah, it proves that you probably know more than a lot of other people because you've studied it, but it's not that much of a, of a big, of a thing worth arguing about. It's pointless. Anyway, that was my thoughts on the matter. Hopefully I've spoken to somebody today. And I'll catch you all in another video soon. Y'all bless. Peace, love, unity, faith, hope and charity. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Rrrr.